talk about Mont Blanc. This is a Mont Blanc pen case, and if I open up the pen case, you can see pretty much a brand new Mont Blanc Meisterstück 146. This is a pen I've been wanting to get my hands on for a very, very long time. This one here currently has a fine nib on it, but if you actually look at the pen, you can see a dead giveaway that this pen didn't always have a fine nib on it. Look at that, it has an M on the sticker because this pen came with a medium nib and there's a good reason for why it's now different. This pen wasn't actually bought by me, I don't really have the money to buy a Mont Blanc 146. This pen was actually given to me by my sister for my birthday, you know, mad shout out to her because this is a pen that I've been wanting to get my hands on for a very long time and she didn't know what nib to get me and when she went to the Mont Blanc store she asked you know what would be a suitable nib and usually most people re will recommend just getting a medium nib for people with western style handwriting and that's obviously what they recommended to her because they gave her a pen that had a medium nib on it. Now my writing is really really small my favorite uh, nib size is a um, a European fine or a Japanese fine or Japanese medium nib and I know that Mont Blancs tend to have a really fat uh, nib grind on them just because I've you know seen a lot of writing samples with them and I instantly knew upon getting this pen that I would need the nib swapped and I went on Mont Blanc's website just to make sure you can swap the nib and their policy is if you buy a regular Meisterstruck pen you can get the nib swapped for free within six weeks and if you get one of their limited edition pens you can have the nib swapped up to a year after you've bought the pen. So two days after my birthday, on the 4th, what I did was I went into the Mont Blanc store in the city and I asked them, you know, I have a Mont Blanc 146, would it be possible for me to, you know, exchange the nib? And they're like, sure, definitely, let's do this. Um, they let me test out a whole bunch of pens, which was pretty awesome. What they do is they have this awesome drawer in one of their desks, they sit you down, they pull out the drawer and it has nothing but Mont Blancs in it. They had extra fine, fine, medium, oblique, medium, broad, double broad, oblique, broad, they had everything. And I got to test out about six different Mont Blanc pens, which was pretty neat. I tested out the extra fine, fine, oblique, broad, oblique, medium, and oblique, double broad, and the medium nib, just to make sure that um, I was right to uh, swap out the nib. And let me tell you, the line that the medium nib put down was super, super fat. I'd never used a nib, well, apart from calligraphy pens that were so wide. It was just stupid. One thing I will say about Mont Blanc is they only use the Mont Blanc uh, writing pad and funnily enough the Mont Blanc writing pad started to feather like crazy. Even just using the fine nib in the store, it started to feather and absorb the ink like crazy and don't even get me started on the double broad that I used. That really just, no, that paper is not designed for fountain pens. Mont Blanc, seriously, gotta get some rhodia paper in there. Another funny thing that I mentioned about the Mont Blanc store is when I was testing out the pen, the Mont Blanc girl tried to correct how I was using the fountain pen. She said I was holding it at too shallow an angle and I need to hold it steeper. Well, go figure. Uh, <laughs> that really made me um, mess up. The pen started skipping when I corrected the angle and I'm just thinking, no, 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 just don't. Do you know who I am? <laughs> no, I wasn't thinking that. I just thought that was pretty funny. No. <laughs> So getting back to the main story, pretty much I was never ever going to choose the medium or the oblique medium or really the broad or the oblique broad or anything like that. I thought it was really awesome to sign my signature in that, it gave it a pretty nice flair, but there is no way that I would want to have a Mont Blanc pen just for signing documents, really. I want to have a pen that I can actually do regular notes with and there is no way you can do notes with the oblique um, broads or anything like that. So it was always a competition between the extra fine nib and the fine nib. And honestly, the extra fine nib they had in the store was a really poor example of a Mont Blanc extra fine nib. It was scratchy, it was a little bit skippy, it was 
terrible. And for that reason, I actually settled on the fine nib. The fine nib that they had in store was pretty much the pinnacle of what a fine nib should be. It was butter smooth, really awesome to work with. I absolutely loved it. And it was only a tiny bit bigger than the extra fine nib that they had there. So I settled on getting the fine nib and they said, that's fine. Now here's the part I didn't expect. They said, come back in three to four weeks. And I thought, wait a second, three to four weeks? They're actually shipping the pen away. Because here was my impression. I thought because I hadn't used the pen or anything like that, they would simply do a swap. And I did tell them that, you know, the pen, brand new, still in its box. I hadn't even used it. I hadn't even taken it, you know, out. I had left it as it was. It was pretty much stock standard. I expected them to just take away the pen and just give me another Mont Blanc 149, 146 with a fine nib. But in reality, what they were going to do was send the pen away. And honestly, okay, that's fine. You can send the pen away if you really have to and swap the nib out. And then they said three to four weeks. You have to wait about three to four weeks for you to get your pen. And that was the part where I was in a little bit of disbelief for a few seconds because I really had to verify if she was, you know, really talking sense. But yeah, three to four weeks. And to give you a bit of um, perspective, when I wanted the nib swapped on my Parker Sonos, they said, yeah, come back in three days, we'll get the parts in and we'll swap the nib. That was a three day wait. And three days later, they gave me a call and I came and got the Parker Sonos. But for this pen here, three to four weeks. This pretty much said to me that, that they don't have the spare nibs at the store or anywhere in Sydney. They pretty much were gonna be sending the pen all the way either to Germany or another place in maybe Victoria or something and swapping the nib there, which doesn't really uh, make sense to me. I thought they would have spare parts in the store or at least in the same state as I was, but nope, three to four weeks is what it would take. And while I was super annoyed at this, I did it because honestly, this is a Mont Blanc. I want to be using this pen for a very long time and I do want to get the perfect nib on it. So I said, yes, okay, not happy, but let's send the pen away. So they got my details and then they said, can you please sign the you know, document, and they gave me a ballpoint pen. <sighs> yeah, that's one way to send me from zero to a hundred in like two seconds. Take away my fountain pen, and give me a ballpoint. And in all honesty, the Mont Blanc Star Walker that she gave me wasn't really good. I don't think Mont Blanc ballpoints aren't all that amazing. The rollerballs are alright, but uh, their ballpoints, oof, that wasn't a good example of one. Huh? Anyway, so I walked out and I had to wait. I had to wait quite a long time. On the 24th, I got a text message saying, hey, your fountain pen's back, come collect it. And the bit that really just added the hate icing on the cake was they sent me the text at 5.24 or something in the afternoon. And the Mont Blanc dealership closes at six o'clock. Seriously, they gave me about 20 minutes notice to come collect the pen. And I'm already home. Seriously, it takes me half an hour to get into the city to get the pen. So, you know, no matter, that's fine. I'll collect it tomorrow, I said. And then I looked at the calendar. The next day was a public holiday. I, and they're closed. And they were closed. <sighs> Wait a second. Ugh. I'm getting a flashback. One second. <gasps> One can say that I was not terribly happy with Mont Blanc at that point, but oh well. I came in 
on Thursday to collect my Mont Blanc and I made sure to test the pen in store, which is pretty cool. They filled up um, the barrel about halfway with Mont Blanc Permanent Black ink, which I thought was pretty awesome of them. The pen wrote perfectly, the paper feathered like crazy, it was perfect, everything went smoothly just like I wanted. So they put the pen in the bag and then she hands me another, another ballpoint. I'm just thinking like she put she put the pen in the bag and I was holding the bag and I was holding the bag in my hand and then she's like, oh can you can you sign this? I'm just thinking another ballpoint. Oh god. <laughs> oh I'm gonna get flashbacks. So um yeah I sign it and that was pretty much it. So, um, that's pretty much the story of swapping out the Mont Blanc nib. So if you ever get a Mont Blanc as a present or whatever, just be warned, you're going to be without this pen for quite a few weeks. So, um, now that I have the pen back, I would actually like to start writing with it.